Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a uh, little video here with you know some updated news on what I've been receiving a lot of comments about people uh, on the channel on the email um, I've been reading blogs and uh, you know there's a lot of reports in the past uh, week or two about people that uh, seem to get Windows 10 update without even doing anything and uh, it's very interesting because I've uh, read a lot about it and even on the uh, Windows Weekly show with Paul Terod, Mary Jo Foley and Leo Laporte that they were discussing this and it's a very very weird situation actually uh, you know f from what Microsoft says, and here I'm not at all, um, you know, on Microsoft's side or not. Here I'm, I'm trying to be as neutral as possible. Microsoft says no, it doesn't install by itself. You get pop-ups, and you have the choice that you can, uh, you know, just go there and say no, even though that no button is kind of very small print, but. Uh, more and more users are saying, look, I didn't say anything, I didn't touch anything, I didn't agree to anything. Windows 10 is there. Uh, and it's complex, you know, because as a tech guy, you know, I've um, had a lot of clients claiming they didn't click this or didn't do that. And um, it's basically impossible on some of the things that I've seen that the client didn't click on something or agree to something and it's very complex here you know people tend to click or you know agree to something they have no idea and then they just get you know surprised when those 10 is here so it's a very weird situation we're not really sure what's going on um some people said maybe it's a bug, so they, uh, Mary Jo Foley actually asked Windows, Microsoft, uh, Windows team, hey, do um, you think that could be a bug? Maybe there's a bug and, you know, we're, we're getting updated and uh, it's a, a simply a bug. And basically, um, Microsoft said, no, there's no bug in this. Uh, you know, last uh, year there was a bug that some people were upgraded and there was some a bug, even if you said no, you upgrade got upgraded anyway but this time Microsoft says nope there's no bug in here so we're kind of mystified um, like pretty much everybody I would like to have somebody tell me look I didn't do nothing and it upgraded if anybody watching this video it happened um, leave a comment you know in the comment section or uh, send me an email at uh, helpwithyourcomputers at gmail.com and tell me, look, I, you know, didn't do anything and I didn't, you know, say yes to anything or agree to anything and it uh, it installed. Uh, so it's a very weird situation right now. We're not really sure. You know, already I'm, I'm kind of really mad at Microsoft pushing this uh, to everybody and, you know, just annoying everybody with that pop-up of Windows 10 and I don't agree with that way of working and um, I, I wish they would change that um, or at least pop it up once but put a clear yes I want it or no I don't and that's it um, a suggestion that um, Mary Jo Foley has set up because some of the, apparently this update to Windows 10 might be coming from the recommended updates. Um, so you have, you know, the, the critical updates, the important updates that you need to install, and these are very important for security. But you've got something called recommended updates, and you can, you know, tell Windows if you want or not to install the recommended updates, and what um, it seems is that this Windows 10 upgrade process comes from the recommended update side of Windows Update. 
So what people are saying is maybe just change your Windows updates to install only the important updates, but not the recommended updates and not to touch any of the recommended updates. Maybe that would be the best way to do it uh, in Windows 7 and uh, also Windows 8.1. Uh, apparently that's the way you can maybe you know get away from that so very awkward situation here on this Windows upgrading Windows situation uh, I don't know what to think as um, you know I, I really want to have somebody tell me or show me because I as a tech guy I have you know for a long time not really believed much of what people say as long as you didn't show it to me and say look it does that and it's like hmm okay because as you know as, as a tech guy I know that a lot of people click on stuff and don't even know what they did and then they say hey I didn't do nothing yeah I don't know so um, if 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 you didn't click anything and you got the Windows 10 update, um, I'd like to hear from you. And um, as for the pop-up, apparently there's a way to say no, I don't want it. Um, and also, there's a registry hack from Microsoft, but that's a little complex for most people. So I still think the GWX control panel is the best thing that you can use. So. Uh, if you haven't uh, taken that option already, GWX control panel is the uh, thing to get at ultimateoutsider.com slash download, um, which is GWX control panel, the first one here, and uh, install this. And hopefully it will work for a while in uh, preventing that Windows update from coming. So that's pretty much an update on the situation. It's very weird and uh, we're not really sure where we are at with that and what's the truth and what's not. Um, sure, a lot of people are saying, yeah, yeah, I got it and I didn't do nothing. Uh, of course, you know, uh, I, can't say, I can't believe that all the people lied. You know, some people will lie, but I'm not sure that, you know, what's the situation here with everyone. So we'll continue checking that situation, and if uh, anything, um, you know, develops here or anything new, I'll of course post another video. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. Give us a thumbs up if you like the videos, and thank you for watching.